Hi there, welcome back to Kip DC Math. Today we will solve story problems. And we know that anytime we solve story problems, we always use UPS check. So let's work together to use UPS check to solve this story problem. Listen as I read it. There are four cups. Each cup had seven ice cubes in it. How many ice cubes are there in all? Let me read it one more time before we retell. There are four cups. Each cup had seven ice cubes in it. How many ice cubes are there in all? Take a moment on your own to retell that story. Remember, the numbers aren't so important. What's important is that we retell what's happening in the story. Go ahead. Very good. Now that we understand the story, it's time to plan. And when we plan, we draw a model and we make sure our model represents all the parts of the story. The first sentence says there are four cups, okay? So let me draw four cups. One cup, two cups, three cups, four cups. Now it says each cup had seven ice cubes in it. Hmm. Each cup. That means that this cup has seven, this cup has seven, this cup has seven, and this cup has seven. So I'm gonna draw seven in each cup like this. So this cup has seven, this cup has seven, this cup has seven, and this cup has seven. Now it says, how many ice cubes are there in all? So that means that I'm counting the ice cubes. So I'm gonna count the ice cubes in this cup, the ice cubes in this cup, the ice cubes in this cup, and the ice cubes in this cup. And that's what I don't know. So I'm gonna circle all of my ice cubes like this to show that that's what I'm trying to figure out, how many ice cubes there are in all. Okay, now that I drew my model, it's time to solve. And I know that when I solve, I write a number sentence and I do the math. So which number sentence matches this story and this model? That's right, the question is asking me about the ice cubes. So I need to add the seven ice cubes in the first cup with the seven ice cubes in the second cup with the seven ice cubes in the third cup with the seven ice cubes in the last cup. And that will tell me how many ice cubes there are in all. Hmm, how many ice cubes are there in all? Very good, there are 28 ice cubes in all. Okay, now that we did the math, it's time to check our work. Well, let's see if our answer makes sense. So we knew that there were four cups and there were seven ice cubes in each cup. And so we expected to have a bigger number because we were putting seven with seven with seven with seven. And we got 28. And that makes sense because that's a lot of ice cubes. We can also check our work by going back to count again. Let's go back to make sure that seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is 28. I know that seven and seven is 14 and seven and seven is 14. And now if I add 14 plus 14, I get 28. So I checked my work two different ways. I asked myself, does that make sense? And then I went back and I did the math again. Okay friends, remember, today when you're solving your story problems, make sure you use UPS check for every single story problem.